Why yes, Danny from Game Grumps does sing the intro. And yes, Aaron from Game Grumps also does some voices and the narrator. Warriors for higher headquarters. Snip snap to the grizzly grab. Oh yeah, you can tell that's him. Now I'll get onto why you should watch this show without having to mention the Game Grumps. Mighty Magiswords. At first it was a collection of short five minute episodes that was soon picked up for a full series on Cartoon Network. Now before I get into anything else, first I want to mention something that might be a turnoff to some people. The animation. While the animation does look cheap, the character designs and humor around the show fit the animation perfectly. Instead of just looking flat out bad and lazy like Johnny Test, instead Mighty Magiswords reminds me of more of a charming little stylized animation that you'd find on Newgrounds in the early 2000s. The lack of detail and polish in the animation is easily made up for fast paced visual gags and slapstick humor. Like that tree over there. He's Jeff. Oh, that one over there. He's Jeff. Oh, and that one is Jeff. No, that one's Derek. He's dead to me. <laughs> wow. It's so cold in Transilberia. Even the plants give each other the cold shoulder. Oh! And when I say fast paced, I mean really fast paced, like the flash fast paced, like, oh my gosh, Indy 500 fast paced. It'll keep hitting you with joke after joke after joke after joke. And while it may be a turn off for some viewers and while some jokes may not stick, more often than not, they definitely do and they hit hard. And with a time span of 11 minutes, they can fit a lot of content in. Despite how hyperactive it is, the jokes are actually well written and not a bunch of fart and burp and gross out humor like Johnny Test. As for the plot of the show, it stars two siblings who are warriors for hire, Prohias and his sister Vamber. They are pretty much warriors for hire and their occupation is completing quests given to them by the citizens of wherever they live. So they can make money to live, of course, and also buy magiswords, which they love to collect. Magiswords are these lovely little plot convenient weapons that they can magically pull out of nowhere. Hover sword. Uh, Prohias? Hover swords don't work on water. What are you talking about? <laughs> But while some of them may be ridiculous, I actually kind of like them, and their designs are very creative. They remind me of those extra keyblades you can collect in Kingdom Hearts that are based on the worlds you save. The voice acting is also top-notch. The actors do a fantastic job keeping up with a fast pace and delivering lines that fit the tone. Oh, I almost forgot. They also sing! And the songs are actually really catchy, well-written, and good. Potato bug. A no, no, no. A burger slug. A no, no, no. A dragon's tail. Don't even joke. Some kale, a whale, or ginger ale. I'm gonna be singing this for days. Sadly, due to the fast pace of the show, these songs are also very short. While there's currently no overarching story to be found, it's not entirely impossible. Despite the hyperactivity, the characters are fleshed out enough, each with their own little quirks, and the world they live in is perfect for storytelling. So it's very possible something could pop up in the future if you're looking for something deep. So while on the outside it may look like just another cheap flash animation like Johnny Test, if you look deeper you'll see that they did everything that they could to create a fun, fast-paced, creative adventure. It's very charming, very funny, and in my opinion, it's a must-watch. So be sure to check out Mighty Magiswords on Cartoon Network. Uh, what do I got for crowd control? The ha! Clapping Magiswords! Yeah, clapping! <laughs> done and done! Let's clap them, guys! <laughs> what? Ah!